2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 3. It says, Know this first, there shall come in the last days scoffers and mockers. It says, Scoffers walking after their own lusts. Shout one, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem of Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truth me and sincerely. And shalom to the uh, Akiyam, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truth me and sincerely. And shalom to the uh, Akiyam, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truth me and sincerely as well, too. I meant to say uh, shalom, elders wa Akiyam wa Akwaf. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 3. So, yeah, like uh, like scripture says in Second Peter chapter three and verse three, you know, also in the latter days, uh, mockers and scoffers walking after their own lust. And that's going to increase in the latter days as well, too. And that and that's the scripture get into the book of Second Timothy's as well, too. I think I'm going to bring that out as a priest uh, precept as well, too. And this is the book of uh, Second Timothy's, chapter three, verse four. It says, uh, "Traitors, hideous, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than the lovers of God." Which is uh, Isaiah five and twenty. Woe to them that call evil good and good evil, just like it says in Isaiah chapter twenty-nine, verse sixteen. Surely eight things is turned upside down as an extreme as a potter's clay. And this is a uh, second. Timothy chapter 3 and verse 3 without natural affection true breakers false accuse it says false accusers and content and fears despise all those that are good right so you can say that can go into the uh, second Peter's 3 and 3 but mostly what the uh, second Timothy's 3 and verse 4 can kind of most likely correlates to the uh, second Peter's 3 and 3 because as it says again, Second Timothy chapter three and verse four, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. It says, "Traitors, hideous, high-minded, lover of pleasure more than the lovers of Yahweh." It says, uh, "Having a form of godliness, but denying the powers of earth for such turning away." Right. It says, "Without natural affection, true breakers, false accusers, and content, and fears despise of those that are good." And then I'm gonna get back into that Second Peter's three and three. And then I'm gonna close out the sit down lesson. And this is the book of Second Peter, chapter three and verse three, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. It says, "Knowing this first, there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust, right? Scoffers walking after their own lust. So that's going to increase in the latter days. So yeah, just like it says in uh, Isaiah five and twenty, woe to them that call evil good and good evil, because." Like scripture says, because everything is turned upside down rather than right side up. So with that, uh, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was edifying of uh, 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 3. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, Wa Akwaf, and Akim as well too. And the Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh and His only begotten Son, which is Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. In the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwankadas, the Lashwank, the Lashwankadas, the Holy Tongue, those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. And Shalom as well, too. And hopefully, this lesson was edifying. Once again, Shalom.